Hey guys, welcome back to another episode in the deep playthrough of Let's try over here. Last of Us 2. Let's explore this little area and then we continue. We are on our way to some high rise buildings in Seattle as a possible next nice little detail these droplets still coming down from the recent rain shower anyways as a possible next hideout of um, the Washington Liberation Front and I'm more and more getting the hang of the control so all the bickering and complaining I did anything in here just Halloween stuff in previous episodes this stuff is funny looking I'm not a fan in previous episodes man this QZ is huge right it's pretty massive you think the wolves are spread out all over it I sure hope not um, all my bickering is getting less and less relevant because somehow I'm getting more and more the hang of it there is only one thing I quickly want to Google, now it pops my mind, whether it is possible to do an aerial attack, because I did that in the previous episode, I just jumped down, but it's not like you immediately go into like a, a fluid kill animation, you just drop down to the ground and then you start meleeing. But I cannot really find that now quickly, so I will check that later on. In between the episodes, Skelisir, Skelisir. Holy shit! Halloween really is a big thing in the U.S. Check out all the freaking costumes there are doggy dress up pet costume pet pirate costume warrior princess uncharted uncharted adult costume nathan drake halloween costume little pirates god damn it Nancy's knickknacks, items, gifts, souvenirs, seasonal stuff, items. Any money here? Of course, money is not really of use. In after the Carmageddon or Armageddon. kind of weird little pink item is that over there are we dealing with a graphical glitch I think we are beta testers that should not have gone through beta testing or past beta testing hello full greetings Toy train, toy plane, water pistol. It's your birthday. Greeting cards, buy two, get one free. God damn it, that's a good deal. God damn it, happy Father's Day. It's your birthday. Christmas cards. Thank you cards. Man, they made so many book covers and postcards or gift cards. 
pictures for this game. Toy books, blocks, crayons, coloring books, toy solidars. There's a typo in there. Beta testers that shouldn't have come, that shouldn't have passed beta testing. Toy solidars, toy planes, toy cars, toy trains, small stuffed animals. Is there actually depth of field in this game? Not, not that much. Maybe a bit. Ellie is a bit blurred out when aiming. By the way, one second. I'm just curious. Um, I was using the word Armageddon or Carmageddon. That was one kind of a brutal car racing game. But Armageddon. Hill of Megiddo in the New Testament place where the kings of the earth under demonic leadership will wage war on the forces of God at the end of history. All right, so it's some kind of a final battle. I was just curious what it exactly meant again. Anyways, the high rise buildings are over there. Before we go there, first we have to check for goodies in Uncle Ron's bistro. Damn Uncle Run all the time. Always, it's always the same with Uncle Run. Alright, that's just where we have to go. Gonna check that out later. But not before we admired these beautiful towers. Red sign. Decontamination required, no exceptions. I must say the visuals here they are it's of course all just a little bit different but they are more or less the same it's all like similar buildings similar grass similar cars in that sense it's a tiny bit monotonous I do really like the art design and the level building how realistic it feels what the hell is that rocks So you don't hear me complaining, but it's just something that I notice that of course it's a pretty big game I understood. So probably this is only one section of many, but at least this part of Seattle is all a bit similar. I'm uh, practicing the 180 turn, I hardly used it. Let's check out our weapon, it looks good, the melee weapon. Although I noticed when you stop the game and you boot it up, any degradation or yeah, gone durability of the weapon. For instance, you have like maybe four or five hits you can do with melee weapons. And then it just breaks, it degrades. And you can see the I visual. Can see the buildings. The visual. Where do you want to go? Uh, let's see. The visual. Um, y y there's a visual degradation of the melee weapon, so you can you know when it really starts to uh, fall apart. But. I wonder, by the way, anyways, um, when you boot up the game again, that f it, the item looks brand spankingly new, but I think the exact, the slots that you used up for it, let's say uh, you have five hits and you only have one left, that remains the same. So even though it looks outside in pristine condition, it still breaks uh, when you deplete your slots. So that's a bit misleading. Um, and I'm wondering when <coughs> you have a melee weapon, is it possible to actually 
keep it in the backpack and not use it for instance if you have only one slot left one hit left can you then not just use the uh, ah, this is our new bomb but can you then not <coughs> use the shift I don't think you can but it would be good for instance if you don't have the item to upgrade and fix your melee weapon it would be good if you can just keep it on the standby until you find the items and for the meantime use your shift but I don't think that's possible I think once you have a melee weapon and you're melee fighting you will use that weapon until it breaks help prevent the spread of disease stop the spread no blowing wash your hands clean your um, tissues wear a face mask it's pretty funny playing this game in the whole corona period considering that this game also centers around a pandemic at least sexual harassment is against the law god damn it like everybody is sexual harassed nowadays i hardly i never heard of anyone in my vicinity being sexual harassed workplace fraud is a uh, crime maybe one time my sister got harassed by a cab driver but i think there's no need to put like banners all over the place reminding people that sexual crime or sexual harassment is a crime but maybe that's just me being naive but i don't think so all right this was the dry cleaner so we had the dry cleaning uh, i was curious about what the hell this was ah these aren't rocks this is just crap Somebody was saving up his crap. And that way we already checked it out on the roof. I think we also checked everything out. Let's quickly check it. think we did unless there is something here nope that's just the dry cleaner banner I do still wonder about nope about that building it looks like there's an interior but that could also be just detailed world building just wondering whether I could jump on those stairs from that roof come on Ellie let's go and get up there but I don't think I can get back up there we jump down from this balcony I cannot get back up there and I actually I do think I tried getting onto those staircases and I couldn't get to the roof of this building, so let's just leave it. So there's actually not that much in this area. It looks pretty big. But there was all only some minor stuff. Ah, this one we didn't check out yet. Another shop. with more or less nothing all right what can we do here dry cleaning households leather and suede expert tailoring wedding gowns alterations furs wash and fold shirt laundry seasonal storage laundered dress shirts 180 each with 10 dollar incoming dry cleaning 
what does that mean? Longer pressure 180 each with 10 dollar incoming dry cleaning. So is that price only if you have 10 dollar worth of dry cleaning besides it? I don't get that whole business proposition, but that's probably just me. Um, Please check your order before leaving. We are not responsible for any missing articles not shown on receipt. Professional dry cleaning services, 20% off. Amazing deal. And again, pretty fun store, but there is nothing here. Save dollars with our services loyalty club. Join today. Save real dollars, people. Alright, so here is the dry cleaner. By the way, this is a bit weird game design. How does this work? This whole railing. Uh, no, it's not weird. It's just to hang all the clothes. And this was also part of the same dry cleaner, right? Yes. I really would expect something more to be here, but that is not the case. So, we pretty much explored this area. And we can either go right from Uncle Ron's Bistro or left. Let's just go left. nice lens flare going on from the sun it's this way how do you know Dina how do you know all right I feel another encounter is coming up I'm saving the game garage we also have a way down the street we have some uh, graffiti let's first check the garage Motor oil shop, radiator, drain and fill, cooling system, service manual, transmission, drain and fill, automatic transmission service, power steering service, brake fluids, exchange service, differential service, three part fuel system service. Weird how they have like basic prices for those services. Well, the work involved seems to me could pretty much differ a lot <coughs> per um, Anyways, those prices for the car services. Holy 
Holy shit, there are a lot of them. Appreciate it. Shoot. Get the information and be done with it. Don't get carried away. Well, depends on the scar. Am I right? <laughs> They do notice each other. It's Emma! What's going on? Someone got her. Push in! Oh, you should. It's a pretty cool mix between stealthing and um, shooting. Any left? I don't think so. Good. Pretty funny. Shit. You recognize any of them? None. Man, this QZ is huge, right? It's pretty massive. You think the wolves are spread out all over it? I sure hope not. Cool garage, by the way. I wish I had a garage. Ah, even more uh, prices. Start inspection. No idea what it says. Start tire rotation, brake starting, windshield wiper blades, serpentine belts, battery surface, air filters. Fuel filters, alignment check, front end alignment, air conditioning service. Alrighty. Ah. We can upgrade the guns. Let's see if we can upgrade some more st stability. What do we have? Stability, already have it. Capacity, I don't need it. Scope, I don't need that for now. Shotgun. Fire rates, don't really need it. Stability, I would need that one. And shell capacity, that one could be handy. Although you hardly really fire more than one or two shots. 
Um, yeah, stability for the pistol. And stability for the other pistol. Yes, I'm going to go with stability. So... And we have recoil incapacity. Let's go with stability. Thank you very much. Good work. Then first let's stabilize this weapon and then if we have anything left, stabilize the shotgun. Shotgun is often very close range. So the weapon sway is less of an issue compared to uh, longer range uh, shots. Um, stability, reload speed, damage. Here we go. Thank you very much. And that's it for now. Then we need 20 more parts to get to 40, which is what we need to upgrade the stability of the shotgun. I do need some um, bullets by the way what the hell is there something in there pick it up ellie all right can't interact with that really weird the hell is this powder company this is gunpowder or something all right there could be infected in here and I hardly have any bullets left so I should not simply grasp for the gun. If I'm being jumped, I just have to get the hell away out of there and try to melee any attacker. Can we open this up? No, that's not covered. It's just a mirror. Alright, I was expecting a jump scare over here. Nothing. I do like that. Playing a bit with player expectations. Like you have many gaming cliches and tropes. Like when you really expect... an encounter to take place and then nothing happens I find this game does that pretty well what the hell is this? pizza box of some sort Cola machines, slushy bubble gum. What the hell? Bubble gum in a cup? No, there are different things. Root beer, cherry cola, coffee frost, and bubble gum. Yeah, you can get bubble gum in a cup. Or you get, can get some mean streak. Why not? The 
why are not people of the good life? North side slims. If I knew what that was. State lottery. Because playing and sharing a little help goes a very long way. And the bubble gums. Bubble gum machine. Or a toy machine, whatever pops out of there. Experience refreshments. Stupid marketing slogan. Like people have never experienced a soda drink before. Experience refreshments. It's amazing. All right. Let's see, by the way, what he picked up. How many parts do we have now? 20 still. We do have 27 pills. I could go for this one, for the melee upgrades. Let's just do it. Hmm. Ah, I already have it. Crafting speed, I don't have enough. Out of surface. DVD rentals. In 2013, were there still DVDs? Probably. Uh, probably. Anything going on over here? Premium plus unleaded diesel. Right. Bam. Why not? There's rioting going on all over the place in the real world. Turn off all sources of ignition. Transport cylinder secured in an upright position in the ventilated space. I wonder whether you can shoot those canisters and have them explode as environmental damage. But anyways, there's a lot of real life rioting going on, mainly in the United States. So, why not also do some rioting in game? At least that doesn't hurt anybody in real life. Right? Riot rioting is so retarded. Locally owned surf center. Unleaded plus premium diesel. That you really use that as like a selling pitch like locally owns the money stays in the community it's pretty funny actually you never see considerations like that in the commercial establishments for the commercial establishments where i live Holy shit. And I did I hear somebody crying? I 
don't think I did. I think it was just the anguish of the infected. Problem is, I only have two bullets. I do know for another melee weapon all the way over there. So should my melee weapon break? I can use another one. quickly run back all right this is what we also need to check out that side street over there but let's just first clear this building and first save the game because that would be a bummer if i die now Ah, there's a checkpoint, that's fine. Uh, I was hoping that I don't need to re-pick up all those items that I picked up because I have no idea anymore where they exactly they, they were. There were not that many scrap and they were pretty much... scattered around quite a bit. There's for sure a clicker. Ah, there's the clicker. Holy shit. Could see me. Dina, very nice teamwork. This was a smooth operation. Very smooth operation. Some pills. Thank you very much. Wonder who leaves those pills all uh, on the bathrooms. Under the Bristol Diamonds, once there was a wounded city in the insanity, rust into the abyss, low fidelity, new flip, half of two shows, all ages over 21. What a retarded rule is that, all ages over 21, just say over 21 would be really weird if it's like yeah it's only for over 21 but not 35 till 45 bewitched surface into the deep false kings once there was a wounded city in the insanity for asbestor venue portoli secutrop Right, it's like a really weird subtext. July 21, Asbestor Venue, and then Portoli Secutrop. What the hell is Portoli? Am I missing something there? Shoe Sue Trop? Whatever. And there is so much stuff in this game. Paint me white. The sound of midnight. It's all pretty cool art design. Now I understand why those developers had to. There was really talk about a lot of overtime and not being paid and stuff. That went into all these textures I had to make. 
partly but it's a bit annoying because I want to read them all and it takes a lot of time American Metal Band Volume 3 Dark Patriots Inches to Death plus Inches to Death here are two people with clocks as a head Salvation Rollers The Mob Nativity Wait for the kiss, the Shambhala, Shambhala, I think that was in an Uncharted game. One uh, of the treasure locations, Ben Stone, Don Maley, Sir Simon, Danny Man, Roddy Foreman, Headspace. These are the Evertones. In person, an evening with the Shambhalas. <laughs> All right. What the hell was that? A trading card. Let's check them out. Hello. Dr. Stem we have here. Losing both of her parents to cancer at a young age. Yupa Roy threw herself. Yupa. Into her science studies, determined to never let anyone experience the pain and loss she felt as a child. Now known as Dr. Stem, she collaborates with doctors and scientists around the world on life-saving and life-enhancing technology. She also works with the Society of Champions to shut down Spark's more nefarious schemes with technology of her own. Her tenacity and refusal to accept defeat is both her biggest strength and greatest source of torment. Very nice. Another card. I must say there are a lot of those cards in the game, maybe a bit too many. It detracts a bit from the realistic setting. Uh, it almost makes it feel a bit too gamey. Unless those cards were like a major thing in 2013, I don't know. But what I do know is that I already exceeded the 40 minute marker. So let's quickly check this out. For Elise, for Elise life. Uh, so I have to end the episode. Back to the corner. Full funk. Buchner classical number three. Little weirdling. Detroit will burn. The under angels. George Jarvi. In the number. Or in the air. I think it's the latter because it looks like somebody who is in an aeroplane. One missed target. If you only missed one, that's not too bad. Hustle, rise, repeat. The Evertones wait for the kiss. I want to, dan to dance now. Headspace, string, chord in C major by Pietro Alimenti. And that's about it for all the posters. Film roll B. Ah, there's actually a new room over there. Jesus Christ, back to the corner. There's just too many posters over here. Under Angels, Little Weirdling, Buckner in the air. Adam Living Sunbathe. Blackguard boys into the beach that looks a bit like Nazi fonts. Jesus Christ. It's full of posters over here, god damn it. But I won't be reading them all. It's 
quickly check out if there's anything here. Not really. Pushing up daisies. Book center. Narcissus. Barb therapy. Vital castle. Feral pit. We are. We are the legion. Vengeful pests. Nordic bush. A stray demon. Lord of crux. Cry over head or board eternal blah 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 man somebody at Naughty Dog was in charge of posters dish served cold strike back March 12th San Francisco the spider's web wars of the damned all right all pretty funny i wonder where ellie is are we in a bar or something oh, it looks like a shop Anyways, we will figure that out in the next episode, guys. Hope you enjoyed. I uh, have to end this one here. We'll continue in the next one. Hope to see you there. And for the meantime, do not forget, always do keep on gaming. See you later.